Donovan Mitchell is one of the most explosive players in the NBA. Check out these four keys to his first step explosiveness. Hey team, Coach Conley back with another Conley Hoops video. Today we're breaking down first steps with Donovan Mitchell, one of the most explosive players in the game today. We're going to look at four keys to his success. Make sure you stay tuned to the last one because that's really the most important one. The first key, make sure your feet and the ball are ready. Your ball and feet have to be ready for you to attack right away. If there's any bobbles, if you're not ready in a attack position, you won't be effective attacking the basket. Watch Mitchell here as he catches the ball and is ready to go downhill. I see so many players who catch it, look, by then the defender has recovered and gotten into position. You always want your feet to be ready to attack. Watch Mitchell here as he catches it, knows the defender's overplaying the middle and attacks the left side. On this clip, watch how he splits the defenders. Because he catches the ball in a ready position with his feet already split low enough to just put the ball on the floor to get by him, that's what makes it effective. So always have your feet and the ball ready to attack. If you can do that, you will be quick on your first step. Number two, hard, quick dribbles. If your dribble is slow, if it takes you a while to put the ball down, if you can't pound it into the floor, you will never have quick feet. The longer it takes you to put that ball down or get it in a position to dribble it, will keep you away from the basket and beating defenders. Mitchell on the split here puts the ball down so quick he actually has to run after it, gives him an opportunity to explode through the hole and to the rim. On this one against Al Horford, he puts the ball down so hard it literally helps him move past the defender. He looks like he's even, but he's not. He literally pushes himself forward by dribbling the ball harder. You can never go quicker than you put down the ball. So make sure you're dribbling it hard to beat those defenders and get to your spots. The third key, get lower than your defender. If you start lower, you'll finish lower. It is so important to keep lower than your defender. The lower man always wins. And I guarantee if you get lower, you will beat him with that first step. Watch Mitchell against Lillard here. He uses some dribbles, but as soon as he can, he gets his left shoulder by the defender allowing him to create that space. That's the first step you need. To get lower, you can get your shoulder and your foot by them before they can recover. This one, he plants both feet, gets solid, gets low, dribbles hard, gets to the rim. That's how you're most effective. Watch Mitchell turn the corner here, getting lower than his defender. The defender has no chance, and it really does make a difference in that first step. It's not just speed that creates it, it's angles, and energy the lower you are the more you can push off giving you that space and lastly getting lower really creates longer strides for you letting you beat even taller bigger players like he does against Giannis here and lastly just catching your defender off balance I see so many players just go in one speed all the time watch Mitchell here as he attacks his defender the defender relaxes a little bit and it allows him to explode by him Yes, his first step is quick, but the defender being out of position is really what gives him the angle. Here he is again with a double cross. The double cross gets the defender leaning the wrong way. He's off balance, boom, to the basket he goes. Watch the defender Caruso on this one. His left foot is up too high, allowing Mitchell to take that big step and dribble to get by him and get to the basket. This is how to use an effective first step against bad defensive stances. And lastly, I told you there was one more. The biggest thing you can work on is a trigger step. That means stepping back and using that push off to create more leverage downhill. Watch Mitchell as he steps back on this first play and it really creates a downhill advantage, allowing him to step back into the jumper. On this clip again against Caruso, you can see how that back step really propels him forward. That trigger step is a great way to really work on your first step. On this clip, you can kind of barely see it as he steps into the camera, but he uses that trigger step to just blow by the defender and get to the rim. Training your first step is as easy as getting in the gym and really working on your stance to first step. 
You want to start low, you want to use hard dribbles, and then you can use all these concepts, whether it's hard dribble, trigger step, or just get your defender off balance. This is a great drill to use against a defender to get better at it. To be great at attacking the basket, you have to have a good first step, work on it, add it to your game, and I guarantee you're gonna score more points. That's it for today's video. Again, like, subscribe to our channel so I can keep providing great content for you. And if you need anything, leave me a comment. Let me know what you need. That's it from Conley Hoops. We'll see you next time.